Johnny's work does, as I hope you've realised during at least the second half of this show. And yes, apart from the more guarded Little Green from the album Blue, that last song, Chinese Cafe, did include Johnny's first direct reference to her daughter. Indeed, with apologies in advance to Mitchell and fellow fans, that fact makes me need to leap over three Joni albums so I can play a song that not only tapped into the pain of losing her own daughter, but also captured the plight of all those women who are condemned to live and die in Magdalene Laundries here in Ireland. I, I know I know what it is to be... Uh, Stigmatised. Yes, from that experience. And although I wasn't incarcerated with no way yeah. out, during the time that I was pregnant and looking for an institution to hide away in, I was refused because in 65 there was so much... Um, it was just before the pill and the, the, the section that Victoriana had lifted just enough... It was, a ter- it was a terrible gauntlet of things, exploitive people coming at you. I ended up living in, in, the, uh, in the attic of, of a Chinese white slaver, who I guess, finally I was warned, you know, get out of there. He's just waiting for you to give birth, and you'll, you know... You and he'll what, serve the child? You know, I have no proof of that. But were you really that alone? Yeah. Wasn't, wasn't your family behind you? Oh, no, no, I was completely on my own, and completely broke in a strange city that I knew no one. I had to get over, I had to protect my mother. Protect her reputation? Right. 